Welcome back guys. I just wanted to make another quick tutorial for you guys. A lot of you have requested how to do these cloth simulations. They're actually really easy to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new document real quick and show you how to do it. So in our new document, I'm just going to delete our camera. I'm going to delete our light. I'm actually going to add in a plane. I'm going to scale it up to be a little bit bigger than the cube and I'm going to move it up on the Z axis. I'm going to tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide. I'm going to right click and subdivide a few times so we have a nice grid looking object like that. I'm going to tab out of edit mode. I'm going to go into our physics properties. I'm going to add a cloth physics property and a collision. And then I'm going to click on our cube and I'm going to add a rigid body type passive and I'm going to add a collision. Now if we press play, you'll notice we already have a cloth simulation. Now the reason that it doesn't look very good is because there's not a lot of subdivisions. So if I go ahead and tab back into edit mode and add a few more subdivisions to our plane, and now I play it back again, you're gonna see it's looking a lot better, right? Now another thing I wanna show you guys, pro tip right here, is if you go and it, click on our plane and you go into the cloth settings, you wanna scroll down and find collisions right here and you want to click on self collisions, which basically means the cloth can interact with itself. Like it will run into itself, which is how it normally would in real life. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead to our modifiers here and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to our cloth. Now let's go ahead and take a look what this looks like now. It's looking much, much better, right? Because we have a lot more subdivisions to work with. You can see that there's a little gap there and there's certain settings you can turn on to actually fix that. But if I go ahead and back up here, I'm going to add one more subdivision. And as you can see, if we go ahead and play this back again, it's starting to look more and more like a cloth each time. Because a cloth has a ton of subdivisions in real life, it has a lot of complex geometry, you can go ahead and shade that smooth and you'll get an even better result. So guys, that was just a quick little tutorial on how to do a basic cloth simulation. If you wanted to, you could duplicate the cube, scale it down, it's going to still have the same physics properties, but if we go ahead and go object apply scale, and then we play this back again, you'll see that both objects are affecting our cloth simulation just like that. So as you guys can see, this is how you create a cloth simulation. Of course, you can go ahead and bake this when you're done to have smoother playback. Right now I'm running at about 25 frames a second, so it's actually not too bad. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how to do that real quick because I know a lot of you have been asking for that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Once you have all your physics set up properly, um, as you can see, the cloth is still interacting. It's going to clip through sometimes. Again, there's a lot of settings that you can adjust within your um, for your plane here. So if you go back into the cloth settings, you can, you can increase the quality steps. You can increase the mass. There's literally a million and ten things that you can mess with to get the desired result. So if we were to turn up the quality steps to maybe like 10, probably going to get a little bit of a lower frame rate, but do you see how it looks a lot more natural now as it rolls off of these cubes? We're not getting that clipping as much. That looks really good actually. Again, you guys can apply whatever material you want to this. I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial, but if you wanted to, you could go back to frame zero. I'll go ahead to our rendered view. I'll just switch to cycles, GPU real quick. I'm just gonna add in a quick HDRI environment texture here. I'll just add this in for the sake of the tutorial. And then I'll just go ahead and click on our plane. I'll assign that a new material, make that metallic. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that roughness. And if we go ahead and play this back, we have this really cool metallic sheet falling over these cubes. So just a quick way to add some so really cool effects to your animations here. Um, again, guys, you can go ahead and take this at any point and convert it to a mesh. So if you look really like the way that looks there, I believe you just go right click, uh, convert to mesh. Yep, and now it's just its own thing. So you can take it, you can duplicate it, you can scale it. Um, again, you're gonna wanna right click set origin to geometry so that when you do scale it, you're scaling uh, from the center of that object. So guys, that's just a quick way to take your actual simulation and convert that into an object if you if you really liked um, this point in the simulation. So guys, I hope you learned something from this. Um, I hope that you can take away some knowledge and try your own simulations yourself. Um, if you found this useful, please consider subscribing to the channel, like, comment, let me know what you'd like to see next, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram for even more um, Blender educational content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next tutorial.